Hi, I'm Henry Segerman. These are D10 OptiDice by the Dice Lab. The Dice Lab is uh, myself and Robert Fadhauer. Um, so these are part of a new line of dice uh, called the OptiDice. Um, and the idea here is to optimize fairness of uh, the standard shaped uh, uh, polyhedral dice um, within the constraints of injection molding, you know, real physical objects. Uh, no real object is going to be perfectly fair, but we can try and improve things. So the first thing you might notice with these is the numbering is unusual, uh, or the shapes of the numerals. Each number is made from 10 hexagons, and so the same size hexagons uh, on each of the numbers of the on the die, which means that the same amount of material is removed from each face of the die. Um, we've also tried to uh, arrange it so that the center of mass of the removed material is the same on each face. So that should help, uh, perhaps, with fairness. Um, you'll also notice on the uh, um, uh, the tens dice, so the, the units dice and the tens dice, uh, the tens dice, the only way we signify this is with an extra little hex dot on the top. Uh, again, it's uh, still balanced in the sense of uh, the material removed has the same center of mass from each face, um, but without actually putting in an extra digit on these things, it means that it's sort of more readable. So this would be 0, 03 or 78 and so on. It's pretty easy to, to tell when, when it's a tens dice rather than a units dice. Uh, so that's the numbering. Um, we've also tried to uh, balance the uh, numbers as, as best as possible. So of course, opposite faces uh, on the die add up to uh, nine, or I guess 90 in the case of the tens die. Um, and the reason for that is that uh, if you squish a die down so it becomes more coin-like, then the two sides that are squished down are going to come up more often than the other ones. Um, but at least if they add up to nine, then uh, you're not rolling high and, and you're not rolling low. Uh, now, in addition to that kind of balancing, we also have balancing as best as possible around the vertices. So if you add up all of the, uh, the numbers around here, you'll see see, 15 uh, and 7 is uh, 22. Uh, and if you look on the other side, then this should add up to 23. So most 10-sided uh, die have all of the even numbers on one side and all of the odd numbers on the other side. Um, and since if you're starting from zero, the odd numbers uh, are all one more than an even number, it means that the the sum total of the odd numbers is five more than, than uh, the even numbers. So if you could somehow arrange it so that you were going to land on the even side, then you will be more likely to be rolling low than if you uh, arranged it to be rolling on the odd side. So that doesn't seem very fair. That's a sort of possible way to cheat with this. And so ours, you don't have that option. Uh, again, you have uh, 22 on one side and 23 on the other. We also tried as best as possible to balance around the uh, degree three vertices. Uh, the sums there are not particularly uh, fantastically well balanced, but it's the best that you can possibly do um, within the, the, the constraints of uh, getting 22 on one side and 23 on the other side. Uh, the last feature is uh, the, the size of these. So they're a little bit bigger than your ordinary 10-sided dice. Um, and so, I mean, this is sort of a, a, a question of balancing between, well, so if you have a larger die, then uh, the mold is going to be more accurate, uh, relatively speaking. Uh, generally, the, the errors you see in, in, in injection molding are absolute errors rather than relative errors. So a larger die um, is going to be a little bit more precise. Uh, the downside uh, with larger and larger dies, dice is they get more expensive, and they tend not to roll so well, just as people don't put so much energy, relatively speaking, into into the, the, the roll. So we felt this was a good balance between precision uh, in terms of having them a little bit larger, makes them a bit more precise, uh, and they still sort of roll uh, in a satisfying way. So these are uh, the Optidice, or the D10 Optidice by the Dice Lab. Thanks for watching.